hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are one of my new viewers welcome to Asedu's kitchen in today's video I will show you how I prepare Sudanese eggplant stew it is known as mula aswet or dama pe aswet this is another subscriber request if there's a recipe that you'd like me to do please write it down in the comments section i honestly don't know how to cook everything but if it is something i am familiar with you can be certain that i will get onto it the ingredients for this recipe are cooking oil meat potato onion eggplant vegetable stock powder coriander powder cumin powder tomato paste garlic paste salt and black pepper i begin by preparing my vegetables i peel the eggplant and cut it into smaller pieces i like mine not too big or small as you can see here once I am done I will add an amount of salt that is enough to cover the eggplant I flip the bowl a couple of times to help the salt cover most of the eggplant this helps draw water out of the eggplant which prevents the eggplant from irritating the mouth when eaten this is an important step, so please don't skip it. Once this is done, I cover it and set it aside. Then I proceed to cut the onion and potato. I peel them and chop them into small pieces. I check my meat and cut it into evenly sized pieces to ensure that they cook at the same rate. Now that everything is prepped, I wash the meat and the potatoes and set them aside ready to start cooking. I add some oil into the pot and add the onions. Don't add too much oil because the eggplant will be shallow fried and that will add more oil into the stew. I stir this for a few minutes until the onions are translucent. Then I add my beef. I also add coriander powder, vegetable stock powder, garlic paste, tomato paste and black pepper. Then I stir it to combine it all. I add the potatoes and stir to combine. Then I add water and cook this covered until the meat softens. I use the potato to thicken the stew. Some people use red lentils. This is a personal choice, so you can skip it if you'd like to. You could also use onions to thicken the stew. However, I suggest that you only do this if you don't mind the stew tasting sweet. While the meat is cooking, I proceed to the sink to prepare the eggplant. 
The water you see here was drawn out of the eggplant by the salt. I rinse the eggplant to get rid of this water and salt. Rinsing this off reduces mouth irritation as I mentioned earlier. Ensure that you rinse it well to reduce the amount of salt left to prevent the stew from becoming too salty. After rinsing it a couple of times, I pour the eggplant into a colander to drain excess water. I leave this on the side to allow the water to drain off while I wait for the meat to cook. The meat is now ready, so I mash the potatoes. I add some water and continue mashing until I reach my preferred consistency. Then I add cumin powder, mix to combine and turn the heat off. The cumin will have time to cook well once I add the eggplant into the stew. I add some oil to a nonstick pan and shallow fry the eggplants. Please ensure that you don't add too much oil at this point because you don't want your stew to be too oily. Depending on how much eggplant you're using and how large the pieces are, this won't take long. It should take about 5 minutes. Stir this continuously because you don't want it to burn. Don't mind the burn marks because it doesn't affect the taste and this is way healthier than deep frying them. To keep this even more healthy, you can air fry the eggplant. Once ready, remove onto a plate and return the stew onto the stove and bring it to a boil. Adjust the water level at this point and add the eggplant. Stir gently to combine, turn the heat down to the lowest setting and cook covered for roughly 5 minutes. At this point, adjust the water level and salt to taste, then allow it to cook for another 2 minutes before turning the heat off. If you're still watching this, I hope you enjoyed this recipe enough to try it out. If you do, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Serve this with the staple of your choice. I served it with bread, but it can also be eaten with kisra or injera. For more of my simple recipes, remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications and you will be notified every time I post a new recipe. Please like, comment and share this video with your family and friends. This is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.